kick goes out of bounds. Kick by number 11, Cindy Edward. Player on the plate. Crystal Smith White. Hand off to White. Runs out the outside. Gets the corner. Turns on the jets. Still going. Stiff arms and gets taken down. At and it's number 24 for the ball carrier. Crystal White. Run out by number 16. Sarah Adley. Ball with number 58 on the tackle carrier stroll. And it is a first down. So now they line up. This first down was sponsored by Metro Health. Harris to the left, Anderson to the right, I formation. Houston on the center. Hand off to White again. Gets on and tackled for a gain of three. Brought down by number 26. That is J.J. Lex Great. Nicole Walker, number four, the ball carrier. Brought out by number 26, Jessica Gray. Second down on eight. They break the huddle. Come out in the same formation. We got second down and seven. More than that, E bomb under center. Hand off to White again, bounces outside, has the corner, and tackled down by There's number 21, that is J.B. Goodlow. Seven yard line. And it's going to be third down and two, but we have a injury timeout as one of the dynamite is on the floor. That right. is uh, number 56, that is Angela Embry, Jr., and the trainers are taking a look at her right now. This is the opening drive of the Division Three National Championship game. Sorry that we had some audio difficulties in the beginning. This is Pat Brown bringing you the action live from uh, Tom Benson Pro Football Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio. Let me give you the starting defense as we have this entry timeout for the Arizona Outcast. Going from right to left at defensive end, number nine, Ariel Johnson. At defensive tackle, number 88, Jenna Schultz. At the other defensive tackle, number 11, Cindy Edward. And the other defensive end, number 55, Lakeisha Wright. At the linebackers, number 34, that is Sorelli, Ut Sorelli, Sorelli Utley. Sorry about that. At cornerback is number four, Mimi Mafurzo. At number... 26, Jay Gray, that is a strong safety. At free safety, number 7, Shannon Connolly. At left cornerback, number 33, that is Tory Davis. Entry timeouts over. I formation, pro right. Hand off to number 2 now, and she gets the first down. Powerful way to the 29. First down for the Dynamite. Tackled by number 55. That is... Lakeisha Wheat. Also in on the deck, number 58, Kira Soul. So it's going to be first and 10 and on the 29 yard line. First down. This first down is sponsored once again by Metro Health. Still in the huddle. Eye formation. Pro left. And handoff to number two, but she's up. Oh, we got flags on the play. 
we're going to hold on right now. That was number two, Kirsten Holman. But we have delay a game against the Dynamite. That's going to back him up five. First down has been brought to you by Metro Health. They are the preferred medical provider of the Women's Football Alliance National Championship all on marketing. 15. So after the penalty takes them back to the 34-yard line, it'll be first down and 15 for the Dynamite. First drive of the afternoon. Pro left, eye formation. Holman the deep back. Holman has it. And going to push forward, still driving the legs, still pushing, still going and finally and taking Walker, down at a hard in. two yards. Right now, number nine, Earl Johnston. So Johnston makes the tackle. Gain of two is going to be second down and 13 from the 32 yard line. They break the huddle. Second down in Wide to the right is Anderson. To the left is Harris. That was runs bootleg. And gets away. Breaks a tackle. And breaks another tackle. Still going and finally taken down at the 29-yard line. Partner, the ball here. Down by number 58. Number 58. That is short. Assisted by Here's number 11. Johnson. That is Edward, and it's going to be back to the original line of scrimmage, third down and 10 for the third Dynamites. Down and 10. They for break the, the huddle quickly, and, and now they go Dallas. back into the huddle. As number 42 is subbed out, that is Furman. Coming in is number 34, Victoria Kennedy. I formation, pro left, third down and 10. Ebom handoff to uh, Smurf breaks the tackle, dives forward, but only going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down and ten. Oh, they give a, a loss on the play back to the 31. Also, number 16, Sarah Utley, in on the tackle. So it's going to be fourth down and 12. They're going to go for it. Don't believe they have a field goal kicker that can kick this long. So they break the huddle. Eye formation. Pro right. Tight end right is 88. Rose. Back to pass. Going deep and incomplete. Intended for the tight end. So turn over on downs as Derby City does not capitalize on their drive. And Arizona will take over first down and 10 as Buckler is slow to get up. And she's up. And it's going to be a turnover on down. So now Arizona will take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. Nine minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. And now Arizona has the ball first and 10. Number 58 at quarterback. That is Kara Scholl. Now it's trips to the right, twins to the left, no backs in the backfield. Now motion. Goes to Jazzy. Jazzy handoff runs into her own player and gonna be taken down by number one. That is uh, Veronica Sloan. They call her Smiley. Well, she's definitely smiling. She got a tackle for loss all the way back to the 25 yard line. So, right from the start, not what you wanna see your opening drive minus five all the way back to the 25 as they immediately call timeout as Coach Griffin wants to get everything straight as that was not what he was envisioning for his opening play. We'll let you know that today's game 
is provided, the K-Tape is being provided by TYM Performance. Now you can get 15% off your KT Tape needs when you subscribe to their email newsletter. KT Tape is the official kinesiology tape of the WFA and a proud sponsor of women's sports everywhere. Timeout is now over. So both teams have used the timeout. Check that. It was an injury timeout for Derby City. So Arizona has two timeouts left. Derby City has all three. Now it's twins to both sides. Quarterback, Scholl, puts Jazzy in motion. Goes away across the field. Ball is thrown, caught by Ed Jazzy. Breaks a tackle, rain in, still going, and gets all the way up to the 37-yard line. So that's Rainin catches the pass from Scholl. Third down and five. Third down and six. Good low in Johnson to the left. One back in the backfield. Now it's Rainin goes in motion. And back to pass. Ball is thrown and incomplete. Good job by the safety. Number 11 broke that pass up. That was Casey Harris. Going to bring down fourth and five. On the offense for Arizona, number 21, J.B. Goodlow. Number 31, Jasmine Rainin. Number nine, Ariel Johnston. At quarterback is number 58. That is Kara Shaw. Offensive line going from left to right. Number 55, Lakeisha Wright. 88, Jenna Schultz. 17, Geraldine Curley. Number 34, Ariel Utley. And number 11, Cindy Predator. At tight end, number 33, Tori Davis. Fourth down coming up as Rainey goes wide to the left. And you have Bunch to the right, Johnson, Davis, and Goodlow. And we have a stoppage, a delay a game against the Outcasts. So that's going to take them back to the original line of scrimmage, which is the 31. Eight minutes, 51 seconds left to go in the opening quarter of the Division Three National Championship. Fourth down and 10 now. Now Rainey goes into the backfield to the right of the quarterback, Show. Johnson Goodlow to the right. Motion by 26 Anderson. And we have uh, movement on the line of scrimmage. We'll see if she was drawn off. And, of course, both teams are pointing at each other, but the officials are going to confer, and they will make the determination. And here it is. It is encroachment against the Dynamite. That was number 34 who jumped off sides. That's Victoria Kennedy. So it's going to move him five yards back to the 37 yard 36 yard line so 34 comes out after that penalty and taking up places number 54 megan meyer twins to the left one back in the backfield that is raining now she goes to the left side now she's going to stand at quarterback raining now is going to run sweet we have a flag on the play she gets the corner turns the field she's at midfield Cuts inside and still going and tackled down at the 40-yard line. But we're going to wait. There is a flag on the play. We have laundry on the field, so we're going to see what this penalty is. Will this count or will it come back? And we're waiting to see from the umpire. We have a legal procedure against the outcast it's going to take them back five yards back to the original line of scrimmage again which is a 31 yard line but that negates a huge quarterback sweep by Raynan so coach Griffin is definitely not pleased with how his offense has come out in this first quarter it's the number one offense against the number one defense. Arizona came in averaging 45 points a game. The Dynamite 
gave up an average of 4.4 yards a game. So reigning in that quarterback, twins to the left, wing to the right. And she's going to run sweet, cuts inside, and going to only get about four yards. Tackled by number seven. Sorry, check that. That's number eight, Barber. And it's going to be a turnover on downs as they did not punt. And it's going to be first and ten for the Dynamite. Eight minutes, ten seconds left to go in this opening quarter. So Dynamite have excellent field position to start their second drive. They're starting at the 34-yard line. I formation. Deep back is number two. And it's going to be Buckner keeping it. Gets inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Tackled there by number nine, Ariel Johnston. They give it to the 30-yard line. It's going to be a gain of four. Second down and six. For the dynamite. Right at the 30-yard line. They break the huddle. Anderson goes to the left. Harris goes to the right. I formation, which is Kennedy and Holman. And back to pass now. Under pressure, rolls to the left. Now she tucks it down. She's going to run. She gets the corner. And finally taken down by number 21. That is J.B. Goodlow. But does she have enough for first down? And we're going to have a timeout as, oh, man, number 20, the MVP, offensive MVP of the year, number 20, the essence, Houston Bruckner. A little shaken up, but she's, uh, oh, no, she just collapsed. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to have a timeout right now as she definitely is not good. So we're going to take a injury timeout here as Buckner is down as both teams are going to go to their respective sidelines. And I'm sure they're going to make sure that she's all right. She's talking and she's <laughs> that's a player for you. She's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. But listen, when you fall out like that, they have to make sure that you are okay, and they're going to take every precaution. Uh, she's getting some water as you see her walking off the field with the trainer. That is good to see. I'm glad that she is okay, and we'll see if she'll be able to continue in this game. Hopefully she will. So after the first down run that was a nine yard run up to the 22 yard line seven minutes and counting handoff now to uh, tour number two Holman she gets inside the 15 to the 14 So that was an excellent run there by number two. Holman in that quarterback now is number four, Nicole Lockett. They call her Killer Cole. So it's going to be second down and eight. I'm sorry, second down and two after the eight-yard run at the 14-yard line. Derby City threatening to put the first points on the board. Anderson goes to the left, Harris to the right. Holman, the deep back. Lock it under center. And handoff to number 42. And pulling, driving, and still going. Finally taken down at the 12-yard line. Tackled there by 58 Scholl. And 88 Schultz. And it's enough for a first down to the 13. Check that, the 12. So... Derby City in the red zone, threatening to put points on the board. Five minutes, 59 seconds, and counting in the first quarter. I formation. Pro right. Handoff. 
to Holman. Holman still pushing, still going forward and taken down at the six. Holman, ball right down by number it's going to be a gain of six. It's going to be second down and four. And number 55, Wheat in on the that first down has been brought to you by Metro Health. Recognized as a preferred medical provider of Women's Football Alliance National Championship or our marketing. Second down and four from the six yard line. Anderson to the left. Harris to the right. I formation now number 56 at fullback. That is Embry Jr. Handoff, cuts inside, breaks the tackle, falls forward, and close to a first down. That is number 42. That is Furman. And it's going to be first and goal at the two. Four minutes, 50 seconds, and counting in the first quarter. The Dynamite looking to score. Gang tackle there by 55 Wheat. And 11, and Edward. First, first in goal. First in goal. In the backfield, 56, Embry Jr., 42, Furman. And pushing forward, touchdown, Dynamite! It's a touchdown, Cole Dynamite. Number four, the quarterback, Cole, bashes it in. And it's 6 nothing, Dynamite. So will they be kicking the extra point or will they be going for two? We will find out. As it looked like they're going to be going for two as number 11 Harris and number 24 White checks in to the game. Harris goes wide to the right, Anderson and White go to the left. One back in the backfield, handoff, bumbled. Breaks the tackle, still going, pushing forward, dives! And will not get in, she is denied the two-point conversion. So at the four-minute, 26 mark of the first quarter, the Derby City Dynamite strike first, it's six-nothing. And four, 26 to play in the first quarter. So the Dynamite capitalized on excellent field position starting from the 31-yard line, a 31-yard drive. Took about three minutes and 20 seconds. And the Dynamite up six to nothing. So as Coach Griffin gets set to get his offense back on the field, I'm sure he had a conversation with him on the sideline. Said, hey, we're making too many mistakes. We had three penalties on that opening drive. One negated a good 24-yard run by Jazzy Raymond. So now they got to get it together as the Dynamite will be kicking off. Back deep will be number 31, Raynan, and number 21, Goodlow. Kicking off will be number 13, Cindy Lally. And Derby City did not have enough players for the kickoff team, so they're getting the 11th player on the field now. Beautiful day here in Canton, Ohio. Sun is shining, not very humid, as we are ready. Whistle has blown. And there's a kick short and goes out of bounds. Both teams kick the ball out of bounds. So Arizona will start excellent field position at their own 40-yard line. Flags on the play. Kick out of bounds against the Kingston team. The receiving team is choosing to kick. Oh, so they're not going to take the ball at the 40. They're going to make them re-kick five yards back. Good strategy there by Coach Griffin. Going to force them to kick the ball in bounds because he wants to have a return. And now number 33 goes back deep. 
That is Tory Davis along with Raynan. Tory Davis, number 33, that knee for Arizona. So Lally lines up again, kicking now from the 30 yard line. Let's see what Derby City will do with this kick. And onside kick bounces, still bouncing, still going, and finally taken by Goodlow. And she's going to go up to the. Goodlow, the ball carrier. Let's see where she goes. She gets to the 45 yard line of Derby City. First and 10 for Arizona. Excellent field position. Cross the 50 yard line at the 45. Four minutes, 24 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Derby City up, 6 nothing. First and 10 for Arizona. So let's see if Arizona now can get their act together on offense. And we have an official waving his hands. Okay, uh, I didn't make out what he said, but that's okay. As now they're going to line up. Number seven, Shannon Cooley checks in for the first time. Cooley and Schultz go to the left. Goodlow and Anderson to the right. Reigning at quarterback with 58 in the backfield. And it's going to be a sweep to the right. Gets to the corner and tries to make a move. Gets the corner and forced out of bounds. By the cornerback number 33. It's going to be a gain of nine down to the 36 yard line. Clock still running. Four minutes, 10 seconds and counting. Same formation. Running in the backfield. Now they're going to switch. 58 show goes to the left side of the quarterback. And now she's going to run, cuts it inside, bounces outside, turn around, has a hole, breaks the side, breaks the tackle, and still going in. Finally tackle, but we got a flag thrown in by the back judge. So we're going to hold on and see what this penalty is. It might be a hold. It might be a face mask. We will see. Official walks and personal foul, face mask. Personal foul, face mask penalty against the defense. That penalty was taken at the 25, so it's going to be a penalty and takes it all the way halfway to the goal line. It should be at the 13 yard line. Three minutes, 40 seconds. Now, Arizona is threatening. They're in the red zone at the 13-yard line. Anderson, good low, and Edwards to the right. And now, Raining gets the corner and cuts inside at the 10. And spins around and breaks, almost breaks the tackle of number 42. Good open field tackle by Angelita Papa Big Stepper uh, Furman. As Raining gains seven yards and it's going to be second and three they call it second and four she gets to the eight same formation and now it's a cross inside handoff to 21 good low and she only gets maybe a yard as the interior lineman did a great job of stuffing that inside trap. And we have a pileup as they're going to take their time and unpile the pile. Hopefully nobody's hurt under there. And we have a Arizona player slow to get up, but she's getting up. Oh, no. Yes, she's getting up. That was raining. But we have a Derby City Dynamite player that's down right now. So it's going to be an entry timeout. That play was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be no gain. I don't know why they put first down on the box. It should be second down on the box. So 
So we do not know who the player is. Oh, okay, I see why. Because they're putting the box, they're putting the chains, they're putting the chains down because it's inside the 10. Number 52 is the injured Derby City Dynamite player. That's Danielle Baby D Best. She's sitting up right now. Oh, check that. Number 92 is the one that's down. What? Sometimes you got to make sure you get the right numbers. It's okay. Black jerseys is what I miss them as far away you can't tell. But that's 92 Commission Commission Ward. There was a fumble on the play. Okay, so they're saying there was a fumble on the play. We couldn't tell because it was just a pileup. I saw no indication by the officials pointing first down for Derby City. But the first turnover of the day is a fumble. And Derby City has it at their own eight-yard line. Two minutes and 49 seconds left to go in this opening quarter. So they break the huddle. And it's good to see La Essence Buckner back in the game. I formation. Handoff gets around the corner at the 10, at the 15, and drives through the cornerback. That's number 24, Crystal White. And she gets a 10 yard gain all the way up to the 18 yard line. First down, run. That was 33 on the tackle. That was Tory Davis. So they come out still in the I formation. Deep back is White. Hand off to White. Goes inside. Cuts inside. And another good gain. Offensive line now opening big holes as a tackle by number 26 and number 58. That is Shoal and Gray. Gain of six on the play. Up to the 24. Second down and four. They break the huddle. Anderson left. Harris right. I formation. Embry Jr. and White in the backfield. Handoff. Nice hole. Picks up the first down and more. As she moves her way past the first down marker. It's to the 30 yard line. First down. Down, dynamite. First down. One minute, 25 seconds and counting in this first quarter. Substitutions for Arizona. Now, Jasmine Raining comes in at outside linebacker. And at number 12 comes in, Ja Clay at cornerback. I formation and handoff again. This time it's number two, Holman. They're trying to pull the ball out, but did not get it. Holman did a good job of holding on to the ball. It's going to be a gain of three up to the 33. Second down and seven. And that might be the last play of the first quarter. We'll wait. They might get another playoff. 35 seconds in counting. Second down and seven. They should get another playoff before the end of the quarter. I formation. Now number 42 in at fullback. That's Furman with Holman behind her. And handoff. Goes to the left side. Still going past the 40-yard line. Up to the 41. It's another first down. Dynamite. That was Holman, and that should take us to the end of the first quarter. Ten seconds and counting. So right now, Derby City, that was all the way inside their own 10-yard line, has moved it all the way up to their 41. That is the, that is the end of the first quarter with the score, Derby City Dynamite 6 and the Arizona Outlaw Zero. We'll be back after these messages.
All right, we're here to start the second quarter. First and 10 from the 41-yard line. Hand off. Big hole up the middle. See, spins and gets up to the 47-yard line. Tripped up by the linebacker, 88. Schultz. Herman, the ball carrier. It's going to be a gain of six up to the 47. And ladies and gentlemen of Arizona, I want to apologize. It's the Arizona outcast, not the Arizona outlaw. We ain't back in the wild, wild west. So quickly, they bring a ball up. I formation. 34 checks in at fullback. Hand off to 42. Still going. Driving. Cuts the wound and gets inside uh, outcast territory to the 43-yard line. And another first down dynamite. Right now, the offensive line of Derby City are imposing their will against this Arizona outcast defense. And who wins the battle of the line of scrimmage usually wins the battle in the trenches. Sarah Hudley, you know, on the so E-bomb now it gets in the huddle, breaks it. Anderson goes to the left, Harris to the right. Kennedy and Furman in the backfield. Power backfield and handoff to 42 and not going to happen this time as number 11, Predator Edward breaks through the line and tackles her for a one-yard loss back to the 44. Second down and 11, 13 minutes, 20 seconds left to go in this second quarter. Derby City up 6-0. They break the huddle. They come out. I formation, pro left. Tight end Rose and Harris to the left. Anderson to the right, I formation. And Essence brings a bootleg, cuts inside, still going, down the side, uh, sorry, down the hash, and gets close to a first down, wrapped up there by number 15. That is Maya Petch. But it's another first down for the Dynamite, and we have an entry timeout as a outcast player is down. That is number 11 Cindy Edward and they're looking at the lower body that was a first down run to the 33 yard line so they are going to evaluate Miss Edward and we don't want to see a whole lot of injuries I hope that's the last one we see for the day So the sun has gone in. So the sun is not beaming down as Edward is helped up. And she's walking a little gingerly, a little limp, but she's walking off under her own power. That's good to see. Both teams on the knee. Now they're getting back up. And now coming in for her will be number 55, Lakeisha Wheat. They call her L.A. Or La. So it's first down for the Dynamite at the Outcast 33 yard line. Break the huddle. Pro left. Now at tailback is number 24. That's Crystal Smurf White. E bomb. Hand off to White. Goes off tackle. Still driving the legs and finally tackled down by number 16. It's going to be a gain of three. Check that. Yeah, gain of three. So it's going to be second down and seven. Balls on the 30 yard line. Second down and seven for the Dynamite. As they get down to the 30 yard line. Dynamite trying to be more explosive and put another six points on the board. Kennedy and White in the backfield. E-bomb, hand off to White. Off tackle. Still going. Breaks it on the tackle. Spins. Driving at the 15. And five ball comes out. Oh, the ball came out as he tried to get extra yards. And it's going to be recovered by the outside.
outcast. Oh, man. She tried to spin and get the extra yard. The ball came right out, fell down, and uh, the outcast, number 12, Ja Clay, recovers, and it's a turnover, and the drive is stopped as Arizona will take over first and 10. Oh, that is a killer for the Dynamite. Sometimes you just get tackled and don't fight for the extra yard, but it's hard to tell a ball player to not stretch for that extra yard and fight for everything that you can get. But unfortunately, she did not take care of the football. It popped out, and Arizona took advantage and recovered it. So first and 10 for Arizona at their own nine-yard line. 11 minutes, 34 seconds left to go in the first half. Bunch to the left. Raining cuts inside. Breaks the tackle. Spins and going to get it up to the 14-yard line as she's corralled there by number number one. Sorry, that's, sorry, that's four. Ree Fuerzo. Gain of five is going to be second down and five. They come in. Number seven goes wide to the right. That is Cooley. Now they flip the whole offense as the bunch comes to the right side, reigning at quarterback. And she's going to roll, and she gets to the corner. Cuts it. Oh, it's a good tackle. It was by the shoulder pad, not the helmet. So that is not going to be a penalty. That was Veronica Sloan on the high tackle. It was not a horse collar, was not a face mask. But she does pick up enough for a first down to the 19-yard line. That was raining on the carry. Ladies and gentlemen, today has been generally provided. The K-Tape has been generally provided by K-Tape. Now you can get 50% off your K-Tape needs when you subscribe to their email newsletter. K-Tape is the official kinesiology tape of the WFA and a proud sponsor of women's sports everywhere. Timeout on the field. And they have dodged a bullet here with 10 minutes, 42 seconds left to go in the first half as Derby City was imposing their will. And number 24, Crystal White, was stretching for extra yards inside the 15, inside the 10. Ball popped out, and it was recovered by number 12, Ja Clay. And now they have it first and 10 going back the other way. But the tale of this game so far is Derby City's offensive line taking charge of the trenches and the offensive backs who went is carrying the ball is getting three four five yards at a pop and just controlling the clock controlling the line of scrimmage but when you turn the ball over all that hard work is nullified timeout is over arizona has one timeout remaining they come out of the break at their own 19 yard line first down and 10 Reigning at quarterback, and now is going to roll. She's running backwards and going to be taken down. It's a TFL tackle for loss as number two, Holman, was in the backfield along with number 34. That was Kennedy, and it's going to be a loss of seven on the play all the way back to the 14-yard line. Ten minutes left to go in the half. Second down, 17. Second down and 16. We haven't seen Arizona attempt a pass yet today. Might be a good job to pull it out. Nope, they're going to try and run it again as Hainan Raining. Oh, nice hard tackle by number 42, Furman, as she was being held up by number three. That was Courtney Powell. Going to be no game. Check that. A loss back to the 12-yard line. 
minus two. So Arizona, after gaining some positive yards, have two straight plays of tackle for losses. It's going to be third down and 18. Ladies and gentlemen, the Derby City Dynamite and the Arizona Outcasts have been provided by Shock Docker, the number one mouth guard in the world. Protection, courage, swagger, get them all in a Shock Doctor lip guard. We have a timeout called by Derby City, their first timeout. They have two remaining, exactly nine minutes left to go in the half. Derby City holding a 6 nothing lead. It's a great experience to be here in Canton, Ohio. I had a great time going to the Pro Football Hall of, T Hall of Fame, looking at all the busts and taking in the sights and the videos. It was an awesome experience. If you get a chance to come and visit, I'm sure that you are going to be in for a wonderful time, especially if you're a lover of this game of football. Shock Doctor, it's the official mouth guard of the Derby City Dynamite and the Arizona Outcast. It is the number one mouth guard in the world. Protection, courage, swagger. You get them all in a Shock Doctor lip guard. You can follow them at shockdoctor.com. Timeouts over third down and long for Arizona. Now back to pass. Ball thrown up. Intercepted. It's intercepted by Derby City. It was intercepted by, I got to get the number. She caught it and ran into her own player, and she's down. And we're going to see that was number zero, Taisha Allen. They say she did not complete the interception. She dropped it when she got hit. Oh, she had it right in the gut, and the ball fell out incomplete. Well, they caught a break right there because Derby City would have had the ball, but now it's fourth down and long, and let's see if they're going to bring out the punting unit or they're going to try and go for it. If you have a punter, I'd punt. And now they go trips to the left, one back in the backfield. 58's the quarterback. Back to pass, ball thrown. It's going to be a quick screen. And still, good low. Good low, still going. She's at the 35, the 40, the 45, 50. She's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, outcast. It's an 87-yard pass completion, and we're all equal at six. Quick screen to Goodlow, and she takes it to the house. Once she broke that initial tackle, she turned on the afterburners, and there was nobody going to catch her. It's 6-6. Six, six. Two-point conversion attempt or extra point attempt coming at 8.41 of the second quarter. What a run after the catch. So we're going to have the two-point conversion try by the outcast. Quarterback is number 58. That is Shoal. In the backfield, raining. Back to pass. Ball thrown. It's picked off. And it's going to be live. And she's going to go. Oh! the way is anybody here's come raining can she catch her at the 30 and she does catch her great job by jazzy raining not giving up the two points she was like no sorry you're not gonna take it back but the two-point conversion is denied interception by number two omen wow Let's take a look at the replay of the touchdown. There is quick screen caught by Goodlow, breaks the tackle, and she's all the way off to the races. Trey tried to catch her, Holman tried to get there, but she's gonna take it to the house. And it's six six, and here comes uh, the two point conversion try replay. There's a pass, he jumped it, T took it, and then it's off to the races, but 
from the bottom of your screen, you're going to see number 31 come in, blazing speed, and catches her right at the 25, denying the two points. That's what you call a never give up attitude. You play until the whistle blows. So going back deep for the kick return will be, that looks to be number 11, Casey Harris. Kicking off for Arizona. Arizona. See what the number is. It's number 11. That's Cindy Edward. And now four. they're going to get the 11 player to 11. return the kick. That is number 8, Anastasia Barber. They're kicking from the left hash. Whistle that's blown. And here's the kick. It's going to be kicked, and they're going to let it bounce. you got to get on the ball, and they fall on it at the 26-yard line. That's a free ball. After 10 yards, anybody can get it. So Derby City will take over first and 10 from their own 26-yard line. So 8.40 left to go in the first half. Derby City leading it six, this, or, uh, tied at 6-6 six, six apiece. So Derby City's offensive line coming back, looking to continue opening holes for their running backs. You got the offensive player of the year. The Essence Houston Buckner, they call her E-bomb at quarterback. She was shaken up early in the first quarter. She's back on the field. You have I formation, pro left. And handoff and tackled at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Double teamed by number 26, Gray, and number 9, Johnston. No gain on the plate, second down and 10. Right now, by number 26, Jessica Gray. So, Arizona, I'm sorry, Derby no City. Play, second down and 10. Derby City now is going to We're get Derby in the huddle. The nice shot of them getting the plate. Now they break the huddle. They're going to come back pro left, Harris left, Anderson right. White the deep back. And Essa is going to get taken down by number 16. They say she was down. There's not a fumble. They say she was down. But there was nothing doing as they came on a blitz and tackled her in the backfield. Tackle for a loss. It's going to be a loss back to... The 22-yard line. There it is. And, oh, that looked like it might have came out before she hit the ground, but they made the ruling on the field. We don't have instant replay. So it's going to be a loss of four. It's going to be third down, 14. Not many tackle for losses for the outcast defense so far. Seven minutes, two seconds left to go in the half. Back to pass, and we have a timeout called by Derby City. That's their second timeout. They have one timeout remaining as well. As they are going to try and regroup after that tackle for loss. Once again, it is now 6.57 left to go in the first half. The score is tied 6-6. The WFA National Championship would not be possible without TMZ. TMZ is bringing you the K-Tape, which is provided to all teams here during the Women's National Championship weekend. You can get 15% off your K-Tape needs when you subscribe to their email and their newsletter. K-Tape is the official kinesiology tape of the WFA and a proud sponsor of Women's Sports everywhere 
Thank you to TYM Performance for helping to power the WFA all the time. Timeout is over. The Dynamite come back on the field. The Outcasts come back on their side of the field. Third down, 14. I formation. Deep back is White. E bomb under center. And back to pass. Under pressure, ball thrown. Incomplete. Intended for Levin Harris. She was under immediate pressure. Put on by number 21, Goodlow, who caught the touchdown. It's going to be fourth down. I have not seen any team attempt to punt when they're deep in their own end. And you don't want to give the advantage to the other team, giving them a short field. But I don't know if they have a punter, so we will see. As it's still Buckler in at quarterback. It would be nice if you line up in shotgun, act like you're going to throw a pass and have a quick kick. That would be nice, catch them all off guard. But they line up in I formation. And Essence back to pass. Under pressure! And still going! Still running! Gets the corner! Throws the ball wide open! And it's caught! It's caught and tackled! But it's not going to be enough for the first down. Still going to be a turnover on down, but man, oh man, what a play by e -bomb as she did everything she could. Look at her. Chased down by Rain. Broke that tackle. Got around the corner. Found an open receiver. Threw it. Harris came there. Actually took it away from Anderson. But it's going to be a turnover on down, but we're going to have a injury timeout as there is an Arizona player that is back and there's also a flag on the play. I did not see that. So we're going to see what this is as they're attending to the injured outcast player. I can't make the number out right now. But we're going to determine what this penalty is. As it's two outcast players that were down. The first one was number 21, Goodlow. And the second one, who is up now, that is number, turn around so I can see you, number 16. It's number 16, Sarah Udley. It's And number 21, Goodlow. So I didn't see, did anybody see what the penalty was? Because I did, here we go. Personal foul. Number 73. Oh, personal foul on the offense. Of course, they're going to decline it and take the turnover on downs. KT Tate replay. Defense doing a good job. Arizona getting the turnover. And then reigning, chasing down number two after the two point conversion interception. And now coming and stuffing. The quarterback in the backfield getting the sack. Arizona defense providing the stoppage. Now they're back on offense as Raining goes back to quarterback with 58 Scholl in the backfield. Oh, offsides. Good job by the offense if they did not move, drawing the defense off. Offside. Offside. Defense. On the defense. Five it's going to be five yards. Remains first Still down. first down. So it's going to be first and five. The ball is on the 29. And now going to run and taken down. Great job by the defensive outside linebacker, number one, Smiley Sloan. Drops her all the way back to the 35-yard line, loss of six. That is the seventh tackle for loss on the day for the Dynamite defense. The number one defense in Division Three this year. 
6.05 left to go in the first half. There was all scores tied up at six. Division three national championship game. So now they come out, trips to the left. Goodlow, Anderson. And 33, Davis. And now we have, uh, looks like it's gonna be a delayed game. That's the second delayed game penalty delayed on game Arizona offense, today. Five yard penalty. So now second it's going to take them back to their own 40 yard line. So instead of second and 11, it's going to be second down and 16. Second down and 16 for Arizona. So they're still going to stay in the trips bunch to the left. One receiver to the right. Back to pass. Ball's thrown. And oh! Almost intercepted by number three, Courtney Powell. Oh, man, I know she wish she had that back. Because I don't know if she would have got a pick six, but it would have been the second turnover on the day. Here's a pass thrown up behind the receiver. And oh, right through the wickets. Right at the 40-yard line. I'm sure if she gets another opportunity, she's going to take advantage of it. But it's going to bring third down and 16 from the Dynamite 40-yard line. Five minutes, 19 seconds left to go in this first half. Back to pass, ball thrown, and caught at the four. Oh, no. She ran before she had it. And that's going to be incomplete. Fourth down. That was 33 Davis on the attempted catch. So fourth and 16 as she should have had it. Watch the replay. Ball was right there, but she took her eyes off before she had it. She looked to run before she caught it. So it's going to be fourth down, 16 from the 40-yard line. Number seven, Shannon Cooley in at wide receiver to the right. You got tight bunch to the left. Olsen, Goodlow, and Anderson. And Hannah Thurainen cuts inside. Still going and not going to get enough for the first down as she gets close to it. She gets to the 30, I'm sorry, the 28, but it's going to be another turnover on downs as Derby City will take over first and 10 with five minutes, 10 seconds left to go. Number 22 in on attack. Alexis Green. So this has turned into a defensive battle here in this first half. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to tune in at 6 p.m. tonight as it will be the Division II National Championship game between the Nevada Storm and the Detroit Dark Angels. Brian Sweeney and Donna Wilkerson will be bringing you the action live. So first down for Derby City at their own 28-yard line I formation. E-bomb on the center. And handoff to, oh, man, number 24, White, ran and banged into our own offensive line woman and knocked down right there. No gain on the play. Or oh, they say a short loss, so you're going to call it second down and 11. Right down by number 88. Number 88 on the... Tackle Schultz, but uh, she actually didn't make the tackle. She was just around when she fell down. Four minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the first half. Eye formation. White to deep back. And hand off to White. Again, runs into her own line woman. Oh, that's two plays in a row. She oh, runs into right her own player, and you got to give credit also, to the defensive five, tackle, no, number yeah. nine, we, that is Ariel Johnson pushing the, deep, the offensive lineman back into the backfield where the back can't get going. So another loss of one on the plate. Third down and 12. Third down and 12 from the 26. 
right at their own 26 yard line. Here we go, I formation, third and 12. And now ESS has it and tackled. And we got a flag. Oh, they're going to call a personal foul on that. It means we uh, roughing the pass or a horse collar, one of the two. But that's going to be a costly penalty as they had the sack. And that's going to give them 15 yards, and it should be an automatic first down, I believe. But we'll wait for the official ruling. Personal foul, horse collar. Horse collar. Against the defense, there will be a previous spot foul because it was live ball, 15 yards, automatic first down. Automatic first down as Buckland was shaken up after the horse collar. She was shaken up early in the first quarter. Done a good job so far. But that was good pressure put on by number seven, Cooley, and number 55, that is Wheat as Buckner is going to come off. And number four will take over quarterback duty that she did in the first quarter. But the penalty gives them an automatic first down at the 41. Sponsored by Metro Three minutes, 23 seconds left to go. Lock it at quarterback. Hand off to White inside, breaks the tackle, spins, gets to the 49 yard line. Tackle by 26 Gray. And number seven, Cooley. So it's going to be a gain of eight to the 49. Also in on the tackle, number 16, Sarah So two minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the first half. 51 yards away from pay dirt are the dynamite they break the huddle and now it's the big backfield kennedy and Furman. hand off to Furman. she drops the ball did she recover her own fumble we're going to wait to see the unpile in the pile and they still have it Woo. Oh, man, she did not get the handoff clean. Ball dropped to the turf. Luckily, she fell on it. It's going to be a gain of one, so it's going to be a third down and one right at the midfield strike. Third down and one. Woo, man, she's lucky to get that ball back. So, Ebon back at quarterback after taking a playoff. I formation, third and one. Handoff, broke tackle, still pushing, has the first down. Good job by 42 Furman. She was hit in the backfield, but broke that tackle and pulled her way all the way inside outcast territory to the 48 yard line. And a first down, dynamite. They give it to the 47-yard line. First down. One minute, 20 seconds left to go in the half. Essence keeps it, driving her feet, still pushing. Finally taken down by number 58. That is Scholl. It's going to be a gain of four. Second down and six. Timeout, Derby City. That's their second and a half. Timeout, Derby City. Ladies and gentlemen, the WFA National Championship would not be possible without support from Metro Health, the preferred medical provider of the Women's Football Alliance National Championship. Metro Health is redefining health care by going beyond medical treatment to improve the foundations of community health and well-being. The system strives to become as good at preventing disease as it is as treating it. Thank you to Metro Health and the medical staff here today at the National Championship. So with one minute, one second left to go in the first half, we're tied at six. Derby City has the ball, second down and seven at the 44-yard line of the outcast. 
will they on put the, the ball up in the air and ten. try and uh, pass the ball downfield? Or will they keep the ball on the ground, which has been uh, very successful so far this afternoon? But they only have one minute and one, uh, uh, the official time is one minute and 10 seconds. They corrected that. One minute, 10 seconds left to go in the half. The system strives to become as good at preventing disease as it is at treating it. So now the timeout is over. Now in the backfield will be number two, Holman. A little confusion as they came out of the timeout as now they're going to it trips to the left anderson holman and harris and now oh that's going to be a legal substitution they had 12 women on the field that's going to back them up five that is unfortunate especially coming out of a timeout second down five yards So that's going to back them up five. It's going to bring up second down and 12 from the 49-yard line. The back to 49, second down and 12 So now they're in shotgun, trips to the left. Back to pass. Ball thrown up and incomplete just way too far for Harris as going to bring up third down but they did go to the passing formation came out in trips if she would have held on the ball just a little bit more and put the ball outside of the numbers Harris might have had a chance to get it so it's going to bring up third down and 12 one minute five seconds left to go in the half Dynamite break the huddle. And now they go with twins to the left. Holman and Anderson. Davis to the right. Now it's going to come in motion. Harris, that is. Oh, we got. Is it going to be movement or will it say she moved because of the defense? Offside. Encroachment on into the, the neutral zone, the causing the offense to move. It's going to put That's it five back yards. five yards. Going five Third back, count. going five forward. Going five back, going five forward. Seesaw, penalty for penalty. And it's going to be third down and seven. So they still come out, twins to the left, tight end right. Now Harris comes to trips left. Back to pass. Ball thrown up, and there's nobody there. She's just winging it. Pass is incomplete. Pressure's there, but nowhere near a receiver. Should be fourth down, fourth seven. down and seven. 59 seconds left to go line. in the half. 59 seconds to play in the first half. The score stands six apiece. So let's see what they dial up here on fourth down. You're calling the right plays. You're calling pass plays. Unfortunately, she's not being efficient with the passes. So now it's going to be twins to the left. Now it's going to be motion trips. And now we have the Dynamite taking their final timeout of the half. Timeout Derby City. That's the hey, last this is of the a, half. This is a big down right here. Fourth down, seven yards, 59 seconds. If you can convert this to a first down the clock will stop then you just got to go into your hurry up offense and hopefully you can get the ball into the end zone so that's what coach mcmillan is talking to uh, his plays you can see him being emphatic on the side in the huddle as you see the arizona outcast and coach griffin and there he is he's there's mcmillan Tell her, hey, listen, we got to get our act together. So this calm down. We got it. Don't worry. Offensive line, give us some time. All right, they're trying to put pressure on you. We got 59 seconds. We have no timeouts. Got to remember that. But you got to make sure you get the first down. Coach Griffin telling his defense, hey, 
everything in front of you. Keep applying pressure on the quarterback, but don't let him get behind you. That's my attempt at lip reading. Uh -huh. So the timeout is over. Fourth down and seven from the 44-yard line. Trips to the left. Anderson, Holman, and Harris. Ebon back to pass. Rolling to the right. Still rolling and cuts inside and pushing forward and taking out of bounds. Not going to get the first down as Ebom tried to do it with the legs. But Arizona was there, forced to out of bounds at the 41 yard line where it's a turnover on downs. And Arizona now, with 50 seconds left to go, has an opportunity to put the ball in the end zone. So it's first down for Arizona. Quarterback Show in the backfield is 31 Rainey. They come now at trips to the right. Davis Johnson back to pass. Now under pressure, cuts inside. Now she's running, still going and going to get up to the 47-yard line. Gain of six, but the clock is running. Or the clock should be running. She's inbounds. Gain of six. Oh, but we got a penalty. That's why the clock stopped. Legal formation. It's a legal uh, five in the back, procedure the offense, against the, the offense. That's going to be a down. penalty. Minus five. First and 15. But unfortunately for them, time has gone off the clock with that penalty. 39 seconds left to go. So now the ball is taken back to the 36. Second down, 15. So now it's trips to the right. Bringing in the backfield to the right of quarterback Scholl. Back to pass, ball thrown, she has a step, and oh, just outside the reach of the receiver, number seven, Legs Cooley. Oh, if she just had an extra, extra length to get her hands on it, it might have been a six. But it's going to be second down and 15, 19 seconds left to go in the half. For the Arizona so Cooley goes to the left. You have uh, Gray, Goodlow, and Harris to the right. Back to pass, ball thrown, and oh, way over the head of Cooley. It's going to be third down and long. 16 seconds left to go in the half. Here's the deal. If you keep passing the ball and passing incomplete, you still leave seconds on the clock for Derby City to make one or two last attempts to score in this half. Third down, 15, 16 seconds left to go. They break the huddle. Cooley goes to the left. Good low. Johnston now at wide receiver. And outside of her is Davis. And ball's thrown and caught by Goodlow. Now she's going to make a move. Gets, breaks the tackle still. Oh, dropped the ball. She dropped the ball and is recovered by Derby oh, City. Man. Holy cow, with seven seconds left to go in the half. Oh, she made a nice move to get away from the sideline and just left the ball on the turf. Recovered by number 24, Crystal Smurf White. Turnover.
Oh, man, seven seconds left to go. It's time for the Hail Mary. Forty-three yard line for Derby City. Score still tied. Six for the Dynamite and six for the Yankees. So Yankees. here we go. La Essence, Houston Buckner, E bomb at quarterback. Should be the last play of the half. Anderson goes to the left. Harris goes to the right. Two backs in the backfield. Max protection, I guess. And now back to pass. Has time. Ball thrown and caught by 24 White. But that's going to run the clock out. It's complete for seven yards to the 37. And that is the end of the first half. With the score, the Arizona Outcasts, six. And that's it. The, the Derby City Here. Dynamite it's Six. We'll be back stadium. with the second half live the from Tom Here. Benson uh, Stadium at Canton, Ohio. Pat Brown with the call. Nope, they are going to take the ball. There we go. They're on the 37 yard line. We're going to start the third quarter. 15 minutes left. As we come out, it's going to be trips to the left. And back to pass. Ball thrown up. Intercepted. It's intercepted by Derby City. And it is number. Number zero. With the interception, that's Taisha Allen. And it's the third turnover of the day for Arizona. And Derby City takes over first down. Jasmine Grady, first and 10. First and 10 at their own Four, 32. So again, as they started the first half right, on their, on their drive, did not get anything positive, but this is a big negative as you gave the ball back to Derby City. And right away, the initial change is e -bomb, the player of the year, is not in the lineup. Number four, Lockett is at quarterback. I formation, pro right. And handoff to White. Goes forward, gets up to the 37-yard line. That's going to be a gain of five. It's going to be second down and five. Sir, I number 56 on the tackle. It's going to be second down now. In the huddle is Lockett. And they break the huddle. And now Harris goes wide to the left. Anderson to the right. Deep back is 24 oh, White. Lockett on the center. Hand off to White. Inside the hole. Pushing forward. And close to a first down. She'll just be a little bit short at the 41. It'll bring up third down and There's one that tackle water. was by number 11 and number 15 right now, right that number is 15. edward and petch third down one coming third for the dynamite come to the line of scrimmage uh, Kennedy nine. and white in the backfield that quarterback sneak and she's going to pick up the first down as they're still pushing her and it's going to be up to the 43. First down, Dynamite. As I was saying, I had a chance to meet one of the uh, pioneers Number of women's football from way back in the day, yeah. from the 70s. And her name was Miss Erickson. And we're going to have to get to that again after the play. Sponsored by Metro Health, first and 10 for Derby City. So eye formation, and handoff to number 42. She's pushing forward and going to be finally stacked up at the 45-yard line. Gang tackled by the outcast. And that was Furman on the carry. She gains two yards. It's going to be second down and eight. 
Also number 55 in on the tackle, Lakeisha Wheat. So they break the huddle, second down and eight from their own 45. Hand off 42, breaks it through and still rolling, still pushing, still driving the feed and finally taken down. But she pushes away all the way past the first down into outcast territory at the 44 and a first down dynamite. As we're going to have a official timeout as we have a player that is down for the outcast. And I do not, cannot make out the number of who it is right now. Well, we did have a, a little injury uh, plague first half. But hopefully this will be the last one that we see as the trainers attending to this young woman. We're back. Live action. First down and 10 from uh, the outcast 44. Lock it at quarterback. Edwards, the deep back. And hand off to her. Goes through. Oh, fumble! Another fumble! And it's going to be recovered by Arizona. That is number 12, Clay on the fumble recovery. That's the second turnover of the day for Derby City. And we have another entry timeout as she's shaking it off. That's number 55. That's Lakeisha Wheat. But it's a fumble recovery by number 12, Clay. And just turnover for turnover here now. And usually the team that makes the most mistakes is the one that does not wind up winning the championship. But right now, Arizona has an edge in the turnover department. They have three, and Derby City has two. But right now, the only one that capitalized on the turnover was Arizona. And now they take a timeout, their first timeout of the second half. Timeout, Arizona. That's the first of the half. Ladies and gentlemen, so now the timeout is over as Arizona will take over first and 10, led by Kara Scholl at quarterback. Twins to the left and right. 31 raining in the backfield. Hand up to Raining, up the middle. Breaks outside. Still going at the 50. The 45 still going down the sideline. And she's going to go for the score. The outcast take over. It's now 12 to 6. It's a 69 yard touchdown run by Jazzy Raiden. It's 12 6. Outcast. It's the second time they've capitalized on a dynamite turnover. As there she goes, she breaks tackles, gets away from that one, and then she just turns on the Jets. Nobody's going to catch her, and she speeds into the end zone. They're up six. And now they're going for the two-point conversion. Now reigning at quarterback. Bunch to the right. And now she's going to run. Trying to get the corner. Cuts inside, and she's in! Two-point run is good! And it's 14-6. Outcast. And there she is, and she dives into the end zone for the two-point, getting through the tackle, and now it's 14-6. Outcast. So now, Derby City finds themselves down in this championship game. First time that they have been behind in this game. Not the first time they've been hot. Be not the first time that they have been behind in the season. So we're going to see what their mental capacity is to try and come back. 
They have been moving the ball at will, but their problem is from Baruski. Slippery hands make slippery footballs, and they fall on the turf, and Outcast pounces on them. All the points that Outcast have scored have come due to Derby City turnovers. One deep in the red zone, and the one that you just witnessed here early in the second half. So now back deep for Arizona. Number 11, Harris. Outcast. Now Addison drops back. And there it is, and it's going to go out of bounds. Both teams do not want to kick it to the returners. I guess they do not like the, their chances of their kickoff coverage teams. So will Derby City, nope, Derby City is going to come on the field with their offense and take over at their Kick own 40-yard line. The kicking team, Derby City will take the ball five yards from the spot of the foul, which is the kick out of bounds. First down. First down. Just a reminder, after each of the games, ladies and gentlemen, there's an autograph session at the main concourse after each one of the games. So you get a chance to meet the players. So Derby City now takes over first and 10 from their own 46. Hand off up the middle, 42. She has two hands on that football now as she powers her way to the 48-yard line. Where it'll be second down and five. That's a good grade. And number 11, Cindy Edward. Second down and five for Derby City. Gain of four, second down and six. Harris goes to the left, Anderson to the right. I formation. Kennedy and Furman. Lock it under center. Hand off, now breaks through, breaks the tackle, stiff arm, and she's still going, and down to the 29-yard line. Oh, what a stiff arm by Furman, putting it to the turf, and it's a first down, dynamite. So now Derby City trying to answer back, as now Lockett comes out. And Furman comes out. Number two, Holman comes in. And at quarterback, it's Ebom. E She's back on the field. I formation. Kennedy and Holman. Handoff, inside run, still going at the 20, steps to the outside, makes a move, and she's going to go in for the touchdown. It's a 29-yard touchdown win by number two, Holman, and it's 14-12. Wow, oh, we got a ball game today. Will they be successful in the two-point try to tie this game up? What a run by Holman. The outcast had two opportunities to bring her down. She slipped both tackles, made a nice move to get to the sideline, and then pressed her way into the end zone. And here we go for the two-point conversion try. I formation, pro left. E-bomb under center. Back to Holman. Holman pushes. And in for the score. We're dotted up at 14. It's 14-14. Here's the replay coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Holman takes the handoff. A nice block by the fullback. Here we go. He makes a nice move. Nice block by the wide receiver. Gets away from number seven and into the end zone. Oh, not a good attempt there by number seven, but number two, Holman was slippery, and she goes into the end zone, and that makes it 14-12, and then she comes back with the two-point run, and she blasts into the end zone for that, and we are now tied at 14 apiece. Now the two, the kickoff attempt as Raining goes back deep along with Davis. 
Offside kick. And through the legs and out of bounds. But it was touched by Der uh, sorry, Arizona. So it won't be a flag. And they'll take the ball right there where it went out of bounds. As they're conferring. And they're saying, nope, we're going to take it right there at the 44-yard line. Down, Arizona. The 44. Arizona now will take over first and 10 right there on their own 44-yard line. The sun has broken back out here in Canton, Ohio. It'll be first and 10 for Arizona. As now Arizona, they right scored. Then Derby Center answered back. And now Arizona has the ball again. The excitement has definitely picked up here in the second half. Championship football. Goodlow and Davis go wide to the left. Cooley on the right. Now motion, hand up to Raining, and not going to get away from 42 as he's finally tackled for a loss on the play. That's the eighth tackle for loss on the Raining afternoon the for the Dynamite. The number one defense in Division Three. So that drops it all the way back to the 39. No gain on play. Second down. Fifteen. Tackle by number 42, Furman. Second down, 15. Good low, wide to the left. And now number seven, Cooley is going to go wide to the left in twins. Two backs in the backfield. Florida formation. Deep back is raining. Back to pass. Ball thrown. And caught by Goodlow. Makes a move. And turns on the Jets. And still going. Still going. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. And look at the dynamite players left in the wake. But there might be an entry. And there is. That is number 11, I believe. Casey Harris, I'm not sure. But look at that nice move right there. And yet, number 11 broke that tackle. And then finally taken down by number 3, Powell. Nice catch and run. Good load. That's the second time she's had great yardage on that quick pass. She has one touchdown, and that one was good for about 25. So now they come back out in the Florida right formation. Good low to the right wide. Double tight ends. Snow, hand off to Raynan. Raynan tackled right at the line of scrimmage, maybe Gets a yard, tackled by number one, Smiley Sloan. One yard gain to the 34. Second down and nine. 8.20 left to go in the third quarter. We are all tied at 14 apiece. As we see, number 54, Megan Meyer coming in for number 92, Ward. Arizona breaks the huddle. Gray and Raining in the backfield. Raining behind quarterback Scholl. Twins to the right. Pitch to Raining. Gets to the corner. Makes a move and swung down by number 22. That is Alexis Big. Lex Green. Gain of four to the 30. It's going to be up third up. They say the 31. So it's going to bring up third down. And six. And now substitutions again. This time, number 43. The Tasha Red Mac McIntyre comes in at linebacker. And number 52, Danielle Baby D. Best comes in at the defensive tackle. Now it is Scholl under center. And she goes forward and tackled by number 34. A quick quarterback sneak. 
did not catch the dynamite off guard as she gains up to the 31. One yard gain. It's going to be fourth down and four. Right now, number 56, Angela Embry. Big fourth down play here coming up. Will the dynamite defense be staunch or will the outcast convert? Scholl in shotgun and toss to Raynan. Raynan gets outside, tries to get the corner and does not get the first down. The dynamite defense holds with 6.16 left to go in the third. Turnover on downs. Dynamite takeover. 6.16 left to go. And Derby City will take over at their own 28-yard line. I formation. E-bomb on the center. Hand off to White. Still going forward and tackled by number 16. That is Curly. It's going to be a gain of... Four, second down, and six. Now number 11, Harris, comes in and gives the play to Ebom. Ebom, that is the Essence Houston Buckler, who is the Offensive Player of the Year for Division Three. Breaks the huddle. Eye formation, pro right. Anderson left, Harris right. And handoff, hole, oh, bounces to the outside. Cuts inside and finally taken down at the 38-yard line. I'm sorry, the 42-yard line. First down, dynamite tackled by number 11, Edward. So now, Derby City doing a good job of holding on to the football. And offensive line doing what they've been doing all afternoon, opening nice holes for their running backs. As now number 43, McIntyre comes in at tight end. It's pro left. I formation, number two, Holman in at tailback. E-bomb, hand off to Holman. Inside, now cuts to the outside, has some room, bounce to the outside, and finally tackled by the cornerback. Number 12, Greg Clay, but it's another big run by Holman into outcast territory to the 42. Another first down dynamite. Four minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Nice move there by Holman. Then she tries to bounce it outside. Good job by the receiver. Not clipping, but the tackle was made. But it's still another first down and a positive run by the dynamite. Handoff now to number two Holman and this time number nine breaks up the party in the backfield that's Ariel Johnston it's going to be a loss of three back to the 45 second down 13. So now Anderson and Furman are checking in for the dynamite coming out is Holman and one more has to come out and oh, the other person already came out. So it's I pro left. And handoff. Hole. 42. Furman. Still going. Still going. Inside the 30. Down to the 28. And now they're picking up steam. The dynamite have been reignited offensively. And it's a first down for Derby City. And it is another Derby City. Inside the 30 to the 28. Two minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. The Dynamite pressuring the outcast. Harris goes to the left. 
with tight end 43 McIntyre to the right is Anderson eye formation firm in the deep back hand off the firm and again hole spins holds on the ball with two hands inside the 25 down to the 23 and timeout outcast as their defense is now being pushed backwards after the five yard gain down to the 24. timeout arizona that's a second and a half Ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that the lip guards for both the Derby City Dynamite and the Arizona Outcast have been provided by Shock Doctor, the number one mouth guard in the world. Protection, courage, swagger, get them all in a Shock Doctor lip guard. Follow them at shockdoctor.com. Thank you, Shock Doctor, the official lip guard of the Derby City Dynamite and the Arizona Outcast. And there she is, number two, Kristen K.K. Holman. Here we go. First down. 42 Furman. Breaks the tackle. Cuts it to the hole. Still going and finally taken down. Inside the 15. Down to the 11. It's another first down for the Dynamite. Inside the red zone. And right now, the offensive line is wearing out the defense of Arizona. And there's Furman saying, hey, I need a break after all these runs. And the break she'll get as number two, Harmon, comes in to the game at tailback. Ball is on the 11. They do have the opportunity to get another first down. High formation. Angela Beast Mode, Embry Jr. in at fullback. Holman behind her. Holman gets it. And a big hole. Cuts and spins and taken down this time by number seven. Said, nope, you're not going to elude me this time. Cooley makes the tackle just outside the five-yard line to the six. Second down and five for the Dynamite. One minute, 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. 14-14 is the score. They place the ball at the five. So it's second down and four. This is the ninth play of the drive coming up as Arizona has one less player and he finally gets in. And Essence pushes forward, still pushing, and close to the end zone and right at the one yard line and it's going to be, I believe, enough for a first down, but we'll wait for the official spot. They got to unpile everybody that's there as it's a gang tackle by the outcast defense. Less than 50 seconds left to go. It's first and goal dynamite at the one yard line. Tenth play of the drive coming up. Will the dynamite punch it into the end zone and take a six point lead? Hold still because here we go. Essence Jr. under center. 24, Crystal White, and it's Essence Jr. pushing in! Touchdown, Dynamite! They take a six-point lead. It's now 20 to 14. Fourteen seconds left to go in the third quarter. And look at Essence strike a pose. Here you go, the offensive quarterback sneak, and the push, driving the lays, gets the assistant, pushing, 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 and into the end zone she goes. And now the two-point extra point try coming up. <laughs> As they break the huddle, Anderson goes to the right. Harris goes to the left, the big backs in the backfield. 42 Furman, Essence, Hand off to Furman. Furman drives, pushes forward into the end zone for the two-point run. And now it is 22 to 14 with 14 seconds left to go in the third quarter of this WFA Division III National Championship game. Here we are for the kickoff. And hard line drive bouncing and goes out of bounds again. 
They will not kick it to any of the returners on each team. So Derby City will kick it out of bounds just like Arizona did, and Arizona will take over first and 10 from their own 40-yard Kick out of bounds line. on the kicking team. Arizona has a elector option to have Derby City re-kick. Oh, they want to make them re-kick. So they're hopefully not going to kick the ball out of bounds again, but as the trend going all afternoon, both teams are kicking the ball out of bounds. So the kickoff will not be from the 35, it'll be from the 30. Will we see a kick return? I'd say don't hold your breath. <laughs> So, number 13, Cynthia Lally will take her steps again. Whistle blows, and let's see what she does. And she kicks it again, bouncing around, and it will be returned. And dive on it, Derby City recovers. Oh, man, Arizona did not. Did they fall on it? Are they say who got it? Come on, give me a direction. It looked like Derby City had it. Now we have to have a conference. It looked like Derby City. Here's a replay. Bouncing around. Bouncing around. It's touched. Still rolling. Still in bounds. And Holman looks like she recovers. First Derby down, City's Derby City. City. Line. First down. And they get the ball. Oh, man, that is lackadaisical special teams play by Arizona. And Derby City will take over from the outcast 48-yard line. Ten seconds left to go in the third quarter. Bad mistake right there as E-bomb comes back into the huddle. Man, does that energize your defense when they don't have to go back on the field and offense is like, hey, we just scored and we get the ball back? Ha, first down. Handoff to White and taken down at the 50. Check that the 49. Going to be a loss of one on the play. Second down and 11. Number Again, nine. tackle yeah, by number nine. nine. All right, we're going to have a break here at the end of the third quarter. The score is Derby City Dynamite 22, the Arizona Outcast 14. Stay tuned for the start of the fourth quarter in Division Three. Here we go. TYM Performance is fueled by TYM Performance, the official nutrition partner of the Women's Football Alliance. TYM Performance uses service and education to help the body recover and perform at peak levels and there is the essence taking it around the corner on the right side into outcast territory to the 38 yard line first down for the dynamite thank you to tym performance for helping to power the wfa all the time so now Buckner comes out at quarterback, and in comes number four. That is Nicole Killer Cole Lockett, who has a touchdown on the day, opening the scoring for the Dynamite. Anderson left, Harris right, I formation, Hollum in the deep back. Hand off to her, bounces to the outside. Still going, tackled by number 33, Davis. But it's another big pickup as she gets inside the 35 down to the 32. Six yard gain, second down and four. 14 minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. And look at Howman just move and shift and follow her blocks. Second down and four for the Dynamite. Number 42 checks in at tailback. Furman, she gets the ball. Runs over somebody. The helmet flies off. But it's going to be close to a first down, and the officials call a timeout because the helmet came off. Want to make sure that everybody stays safe. 95 need field play. 
And it's going to be a first down dynamite at the 28 yard line. I want to give credit where credit is due to the fullbacks in this Derby City offense. You got number 42, Pepper Big Stepper Furman. You got number 34, Victoria Vic Kennedy. You got number 56, Angela Beast Mode Embry Jr. All doing a fantastic job of lead blocking for whoever is back there at tailback. So now it's Beast Mode at fullback with Furman behind her. Hand off to Furman, around the right side, off tackle. Bashes close to the 20. She gets to the 23, I believe. Yes, the 23-yard line, gain of four. It's going to be second down and six. Down by number 46, Jessica Gray, and number 11, Cindy Edward. They give her a gain of five down to the 22. Derby City not spending a whole lot of time in the huddle. They know exactly what they want to do. Punish. As Furman again breaks through, put two hands on that ball, and she pushes forward and gets close to the first down at the 18. I think she'll be just a yard short. Gang tackled there by number 11. That is Edward and number 55, Wheat. It's going to be third down and one at the 18. 12 minutes and five seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. So now at fullback is number 34, Vic Kennedy. Third down and one. I pro right. And quarterback keep as number four, Lockett keeps the ball, gets the first down to the 15. First down, Dynamite. And look at that good sportsmanship as the Dynamite picked up the outcast player. And you can see the body language on the outcast defense. They are just being pummeled by this big offensive line by the Dynamite. And you want to give them credit too because no hole can be made except for that offensive line. As number 22 checks in at wide receiver, that is Alexis Big Lex Green. She goes wide to the right. Anderson goes to the left. Lock it under center. And she keeps it again, pushing forward. Quarterback sneak. She gets inside the 15, down to the 12. Gain of three, second down and seven. Furman comes to the sideline, gets the play from the coach. And number 88 is going to check in. And number 34 is going to check out. Nope, not 34. Right now, you got 12 players on the field, and number 22 now checks out. Second down and seven at the 12. Lockett brings him under center. Anderson goes wide to the right. Double tight ends. Lockett, hand off to Furman. Furman breaks the tackle, spins inside the 10, and pushes inside the 10 to the nine yard line. It's going to bring up a third down. And now substitution on defense. As number 13 checks in, Ali Olsen for number 21, Goodwin, who's laboring a little bit off the field. It's going to bring up third down and four for the Dynamite. Nine minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the game. The big backs are in the backfield. Kennedy and Furman. Hand off to Furman. Off the right side. Bangs through to the five and pushed backwards by a host of outcast tacklers. Does she have enough for the first down? The Lions just says yes, she does. First and goal at the five. Two things going Derby City's way. Offensive line play 
and keeping the clock moving. And it's just out for another Derby City first down. Line up, pro right. Double tight ends. Lock it, quarterback sneak, push it forward, and she's close. The lines are running in. Gonna see where she at. No, she's not in yet. She's at the one. Second and goal, and we got a pile up there at the goal line. You gotta untangle everybody, make sure everybody's okay. And we have an official timeout. I don't know if it's an official timeout just to make sure everybody is okay and unpack everybody. No, there is a player down. And I can't see who it is at the moment. And we have an injury timeout. It looks like number 16 again. KT tape has been provided throughout this weekend where you can get 15% off all your KT Tape needs when you subscribe to their email newsletter. KT Tape is the official kinesiology tape of the WFA and a proud sponsor of women's sports everywhere. KT Tape. They did that highlight package. She just got her. And it is number 16 being helped off the field. That is Geraldine Curley. Curley. And... Uh, they are definitely assisting her off the field. As you see, both teams are clapping their hands. You got to honor what they put on the field here today. Honey, take a break. Take a break. <laughs> Get some water. We wish everybody <laughs> good health throughout this whole championship weekend. After the injury timeout, we're going to come back with second down and goal from the one-yard line. And you got to believe that they're going to possibly go quarterback sneak as they've done four times on this drive already. It is number four, Nicole Lockett at quarterback. The whistle blows, second and goal. And we got a flag, and unfortunately, that is going to be on number 34 as she moved forward before the snap. So it's going to take them back to the, the six. And it's going to be second and goal Main from the six. Oh, that's not a very good penalty right there. A little, a little uh, antsy by number 34 as she moved forward before the snap. For the Derby City Dynamite. 8.17 left to go. I'm oh, sorry, 8.11 as they just fixed the scoreboard. So it's going to be second and goal from the six. As you saw, both 42 and 34 move before the ball. I formation, double tight end. Hand up to Furman, cuts inside, Pantu, and goes untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, Furman, 7.54 left to go in the game, and now they've got a 14-point lead. So now they're going for the two-point conversion. 28-14. Arizona's going to have to do a lot of offensive maneuvering to come back in this game with seven minutes and 54 seconds left. They do have all their timeouts remaining. So that is a plus for them. But Derby City has eaten a tremendous amount of time off the clock. As Furman gets the handoff, cuts outside, pushes forward, and walks into the end zone as it's now 30 to 14. So no offense or very little offense in the first half. Tons of offense in the second half, especially provided by the Derby City Dynamite. It is now 30 to 14. At 7.54 to play the game, 
the visiting Arizona Hotcast at 14. Both valuable players of this So game. the whistle has blown. I was recording her though. <laughs> and they're flipping some players. Lally, away, number 13. Lally, ready to kick. And actually, they kicked the ball to somebody. <laughs> number seven corrals it right at the 45-yard line. That surprised me. I thought she was going to do the squib again. But this time, she kicked it, and number seven got it. So Arizona... takes over at their own 45 752 left to go also remember ladies and gentlemen also after the game after the game we're going to have the mvp presentation and the trophy presentation team and your favorite players get autographs and pictures that's on the so arizona now breaks the huddle they come back bunch to the left Quarterback is Scholl. And back to pass. Ball thrown and almost caught. It was thrown behind number seven, Cooley. Incomplete. It's going to be second down and 10. On the cover, number 22, Alex, or Alexis Green. Olsen, Goodlow. Good low. And uh, Davis are the receivers. Number 31, Raining, comes in. Number 7, Cooley, goes to the right. Tight bunch to the left. Raining in at quarterback. And now she's going to run around, tries to get away, has some moves, breaks tackle at the 50, at the 45, and 40, and tackle down. Good open field tackle there by number zero, Allen, as Raining broke free and got all the way to the 40-yard line of the Dynamite. First down, outcast. Sponsored by Metro Health. 15-yard run there. Seven minutes, 30 seconds, but they got to get in and out of the huddle quickly because you're down by 16. Got to play with some urgency now. Back at quarterback is number 58, Show. Tight bunch to the right. Reigning the running back behind her. And we got offsides. Look like a hard count by the outcast. And we got encroachment by the defense. That's going to give... Arizona Offside. another five yards. Defense. And it'll five be first and five. Remains first down. So now the ball's at the 35-yard line. Four receivers to the right. And now Raining cuts in, squeaks through, still going and finally tackled by number one Sloan, but not until she picks up another outcast. First down to the 24. Six minutes, 35 seconds left to go in the game. I can't stress it enough, the outcast have to get in and out of the huddle quickly because time is not on their side especially the way Derby City is controlling the clock on offense. They break the huddle now. 6-10 left to go. Got to hurry up before they get a delay of game penalty. And back to pass. Ball thrown and overthrown and we got a flag I think they're going to get up for defensive holding or pass interference she had her hands on the waist pass, pass interference, interference defense number 22 ball will be placed at the spot and that's going to be a first, first down. down for the outcasts and that's 
That takes him to the 16-yard line into the red zone. Six minutes exactly left to go in the game. Outcast trailing by 16. No backs in the backfield, reigning in that quarterback. And she's going to take it. Goes off, cuts inside, still moving. Bowser City outside and finally taken down inside the 10 to the 9. And that is going to be second down and three after the seven yard gain. Tackled there by number three and number 56. That is Courtney Powell and Embry Jr. Clock still running, five minutes, 25 seconds and counting. You got to believe that if they punch it in and score here, they're going to go onside kick. Now show back at quarterback. Coley to the left, 13 to the right. Back to pass, ball thrown, caught by 26. Pushes forward, has the first down inside the five to the four, tackled by White. But it's a first down outcast. That was J. Lex Gray on the catch. So now the outcast inside the five, first and goal. 4.45 left to go in the game. Reigning to the right side of quarterback Scholl. Three receivers to the right. There's the snap. Hand up to Raining. And she's going in for the score. Raining with a four yard touchdown run. And now it is 30 to 20. Two point attempt coming to try and make this an eight point game for Derby City if they stop this they maintain a two possession lead if they give it up it's only a one possession lead a touchdown and two point try from time here we go two point conversion try show back to pass ball thrown oh just over the hands of Cooley it's no good Derby City maintains a 10 point lead Four minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the game. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Let's see what decision Arizona has made. Thank you, Buffalo 33, for your support of the women's football alliance. So now they line up. It's 33 Davis to do the kicking. Approaches, and there it is, onside kick. Oh, you can't touch it before 10 yards. So it's going to be Derby City ball. They can take it right there. The ball has to go 10 yards before the kicking team can touch it. So decision time, not really for Derby City. You take the ball. First down, Derby City. Four minutes, 16 seconds left to go. Arizona only has one timeout, so they can only stop the clock Derby once. Derby City likes to take the ball at the 40. Can Derby City contain possession and bring a national championship back to Kentucky the bluegrass state home of the Kentucky Derby first leg of the triple crown for those who follow horse racing Kentucky Derby the Preakness and the Belmont Stakes first and ten handoff to white 
inside the 40 down to the 35 gain of five for uh second down davis on the tackle three minutes and 50 seconds left to go arizona only has one timeout as i've said second down and five and that's what you do with derby city you take your sweet time use all of the clock eye formation hand off to white hold bounce to the outside 30 we got a flag it looked like it's going to come back as a holding penalty as both the back judge and the side judge throw flags that's usually in the vicinity of holding So that's going to be a spot foul and take them back 10. Holding, 56, offense, 10 yard only from the spot of the foul. Second down. That penalty was on beast mode, number 56. So spot of the foul, 10 yards back. They marked it off. It'll be on the outcast 42 yard line, second down and 12. So Arizona uses their Time out, last timeout of the game at the 324 mark. That's their last of the half. Very entertaining second half. He got another KT tape. Highlight package this time of number 31 reigning for Arizona. Look at that catch. Makes him miss and drives her feet. Here she goes on the sweep around the left side. Very agile. Nice stiff arm. Keeps her legs moving and finally goes. Versatile. Shifty. Nifty. Speedy. Nice tackle right there by number one. But there she is going into the end zone. That was the first of her two touchdowns on the afternoon. There she goes, grants it in for the touchdown. She also has a highlight of running down an interception on their two-point conversion try, and she ran the person down, stopping the Dynamite from getting another two points. That is the KT tape highlight of number 31, Raining. They call her Jazzy. Timeouts over. 3.24 left to go in the game. Derby City has a 10 point lead. I formation. Handoff to number two, Holman. And she swung down by number seven, Cooley. But that keeps the clock rolling as Arizona cannot stop the clock. It's third down and 10. And there you go, Derby City just taking their sweet time. You could even possibly take a delay game if you wanted to, because you're taking another 25 seconds off the clock. You're up by 10, you're up by two scores. So a touchdown, a two-point conversion, you still have the lead. Third down and 10. High formation, double tight end. Handoff to 42 Furman. She pulls ahead for a gain of four, brings up fourth down. And the clock keeps moving. And the beat goes on. Brought down by number seven, Shannon Cooley. And number 11, Cindy Edwards. Cooley and Edwards make the tackle fourth down and six. If they convert, game over. If not, Arizona has a chance to put more points on the board and listen anything can happen under two minutes we've seen that time and time again fourth down play and we got a timeout called by derby city that's their second they have one left one minute 54 seconds left to go if they hold on they will have their first national championship as you see a supporter for crystal white in her shirt 
see people in the stands enjoying this game. Just remind everybody out there that's listening, game number two will be the Division II National Championship between the Nevada Storm and the Detroit Dark Angels. That will be at 6 p.m. We have a package on number 24, Crystal White. They call her Smurf. Here you go, handoff. Breaks outside, uses a speed, turns the corner, and finally dives. Here we go again. A nice runner in between the tackles. She has good vision, bounces to the outside. Nice tackle there by number 21, a good low. And here she is again, going around the right side. And finally, always falling forward is number 24. She did have an unfortunate fumble early in the first half, but she made up for it during the rest of this game. And that is your KT Tape highlight and Arizona. Did they put the ball in play before the snap? Offside. It is encroachment. Does that give them enough for first down? Remains fourth down? No, it does not. Now it's fourth down and less than a yard. So if they pick this up, game over. If not, Outcast has a chance. Lock it under center. Fourth down, and one. Fourth down in less than one. Motion. Harris. Cross the formation. Hand off to Furman. And falls forward. First down. Dynamite. Arizona cannot stop the clock. It's academic now. As you see the Dynamite starting to celebrate on the sideline. The Derby City Dynamite will capture the 2021 Division III National Championship. That first down is sponsored by Metro. But you don't celebrate it yet until the clock strikes all zeros. And Derby City is going to take their sweet time. Remember, following the game, they're going to set up for the MVP presentation and the presentation of the National Championship Trophy. And there you go. They take a knee. And that's just going to run the clock out. Want to give uh, congratulations to the Arizona Outcast. They came and played a very spirited, very determined game. Mistakes made on both sides of the ball from both teams but the team that made the most mistakes usually is the team that comes out on the short side but it does not take away from their effort they got here all the other teams in d3 wish they could be in their position being here at the championship and i know that they're going to retool for 2022. congratulations to coach joe griffin doug doing Joshua Church, Upchurch, Dave Bills, and Jay Clay. As that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen, your Division Three National Champions, the Derby City Dynamite. The final score, Derby, Derby City 30, the Arizona Outcast 20. And there they go, they dump the bucket on Coach Roy McMillan. Daniel Powers, the assistant coach, Thomas Maxwell, the defensive coordinator, Mo Crawford, another assistant coach, and there is uh, number 72, that is Thelma. She is T. Banks. And they are dumping her because she is the spearhead that put this Derby City Dynamite team together. She's the one that brought in Coach McMillan, and now they are champions. Ten years in the making, as they started as another franchise, they put together the Derby City Dynamite 2012, and now they're at the top of the mountain as your Division Three National Champions. Who will be the M? 
V P. As they are setting up on the field, as you can see, you see the WFA banner being set up. You see the championship trophy and the MVP trophy on the table with the WFA logo. Definitely want to give well-deserved shout-out to the Arizona Outcast. They came and gave all of their effort. And I know that back in Phoenix, they're going to get prepared for 2022 to get back to this stage and try and capture the national championship in 2022. So right now, we're just going to take a brief pause as they're setting up. We're just going to keep this shot here as they are getting ready. As you see, the WFA commissioner, Lisa King, she's on the left of the screen with the MVP trophy. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we like to present the course light. Pitt Piper, most valuable player of the game. And it is number 42. And there it is, the player of the game, number 42, Angelina Pepper Big Stepper. Furman. Pepper Big Stepper Furman, the MVP of the Division Three National Championship game. Congratulations to you, Miss Furman. Ladies and gentlemen, any rebroadcast, retransmission, or account of this game without the express written consent of the Women's Football Alliance is prohibited. Here's the presentation of the National Championship Trophy, which will be presented by the WFA Commissioner, Lisa King. And the whole team rushes to grab that trophy. Look at them, they're excited, and you should be excited. I tell you, it's nothing like winning the national championship. Three years ago, I was on that very field in 2018 in Atlanta, where the New York Sharks captured the Division II national championship 27-21 over the Minnesota Vixen, who, by the way, have made it back to the national championship in 2020. What? They will be going against the Boston Renegades. So congratulations to congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to the Arizona Outcasts for making it. And congratulations to your national champions, D Derby City Dynamite. This has been a pleasure and a great opportunity. Thank you, Lisa King and the WFA for the opportunity. It is Pat Brown signing off from the Tom Benson Pro Football Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton, Ohio, the home of the NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned at 6 p.m. for the Division II National Championship game between the Detroit Dark Angels and the Nevada Storm.